EA just released the most pointless patch in Madden history. Madden NFL 25 title update September 3rd, 2024. We'll be dropping videos all day, kind of explaining why this patch was completely pointless. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that so you can get better at Madden. We post videos every single day, multiple times, so that you can stay on top of everything. Uh, the biggest problem with this patch is they literally did one basic thing and they did nothing else, and we're going to explain why that is the case. So uh, here we have some playbook additions. Philadelphia Eagles playbook got a lot of different additions. Uh, 21 plays added to gun normal while close. Going to have to check that out. Um, they fixed an issue where a receiver would go off sides and run off field because of a hot route. It basically, I, I don't know if this is just like um, Eagles playbook. Fix an issue causing the left tackle and tight end to collide in strong jumbo PA spot. That is a really good fix. I'm glad they fixed that. Strong jumbo was a big problem in this game. Uh, other gameplay updates. This is what we really care most about and what we want to talk about. Um, I've said this before, and I want to go on record here saying this again. It's really interesting to me that Madden 25 and College Football 25 are as similar as they are. Because all we heard all summer long was that College Football 25 and Madden 25 are going to be two completely different experiences. Madden 25 is college football 25 without quick jump. Look at this feature. They added a new switch stick delay option to the gameplay setting menu. Oh, college football 25 did that literally like last week. No delay, slight delay, large delay, disable switch stick entirely. Quick tip, you want to be on slight delay. You want to be on slight delay. That's the best way to do it. Update to make the online kick meter default to the new multimeter as well as default in the hospitality suite. Terrible. Terrible change. Hate it. Uh, tuning to decrease pass speed when equi equipped with velocity-based passing abilities. I've tested this out. It's not. It doesn't work. Okay. The pass lead elite and set feet lead are still broken. Tuning increase the defensive lineman chance to sniff out the halfback screenplay. I believe this was also a change in college football 25. Addressed an issue where kick returners were not able to reach the ball landing spot within the landing zone, allowing for the specific kickoff tactics. There are other variations of kickoff maneuvers in addition to this one that the team is currently working on getting addressed as soon as possible. The scum, scum kick, still a problem. There's ways to do it. Added new pursuit logic to further differentiate high pursuit rated players, improving pursuit angles. Cool. Get a player with high pursuit. Updated the placement of the ball to be at the 30-yard line after the kickoff goes out of the back of the end zone. Cool. Uh, here we go. This is interesting. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think EA really plays their game. I really don't think they play their game. Look, look at this. Added logic so that defenders will not be faked out by double pass track tricks when using pass commit. But when you pass commit, if you run the ball, everyone just falls to the ground. So not sure if you want to do that. But cool, I'm glad that you can pass commit and stop double passes. Fix an issue allowing a free rusher on a specific blitz setup out of a nickel 2-4 double mug and one out of dollar 3-2 overload. Okay, this is where we're going to go to game. I am going to run nickel double mug mid blitz and check out what I'm going to get here. You're going to see we're going to put these guys in zones. And even if we don't get the A-gap, we will get a disengage. Oh, I thought if we go back over here, it says they patched the blitz. They did not patch the blitz. The blitz still works just fine. Um, I'm going to show you something else. While we're sitting here in practice mode and we have dollar three two, we're going to turn auto flip off. We're going to come out in free safety zone blitz, and we are going to show you that this blitz now it might not work here. I'll show you. I'll show you why in a minute. But you'll see, a lot of times he'll come right through the A-gap. There, he did not. Okay, cool. Uh, but I'll show you something else. If I move this ball, if I move the ball to the right side of the screen, you're going to see that this is going to significantly improve the success rate in practice mode. In game, this blitz is going to be good pretty much regardless. Let me see here. Move to the right hash. Bada bing, bada boom. That time the guard actually targeted him and pretty well. I'll spread the linebackers. That'll probably solve that. I do have a linebacker here. If you have a fast safety here, it'll be a little bit better. I'm just trying to show you this real quick. Let's see here. And there you see he's kind of coming through the A-gap. And then, uh, you know what, just for, just, for the, just for the video here, let's actually sub these guys out, and we'll put some fast players in so you can kind of see uh, what I'm trying to show. 
And then I'll also show what else you can do behind this uh, just real quick. Again, I'm just frustrated because they don't like – they say they fix stuff and they legitimately don't. Like it, it, it's le – they, they didn't really fix anything on this patch. I'm going to talk about stem glitch as well, but they said they fixed it. They didn't. Uh, so college football also didn't fix that. There you see, comes in. Okay, put a fast safety there. It comes in. Bottom line, you can still A-gap blitz. And actually, I think this A-gap got better uh, post-patch. We have uh, a breakdown on this in our school community. You can actually do this on both sides now a lot better, but this thing's super good. Okay, that being said, let's continue to talk through uh, some of the changes. So let's just go back over here and read what they said. Um, so this is a lie. This is a lie. Now, similar to the kickoff issue, there are other blitzes in addition to the ones fixed in this update that the team is actively working towards addressing. My problem is, how about we actually work on fixing zones in this game? I don't think this is as big of an issue as the fact that every score is 70 to 70 in this game. Um, if I see them ever say we fix a defense when the score is 70 to 70, I'm immediately frustrated. Tuning to wide receiver blocking so that defensive backs are able to get off blocks quicker. Awesome. Tuning to wide receiver DB block interactions so DBs are able to get off the blocks quicker when they have appropriate ratings. I literally don't even know what that means. Like, I don't even know why that matters because um, I, I don't see this being an, a major issue. Uh, fixed issues causing sideline characters to go through edge walls. I'm, I'm super thankful we fixed this. Let's fix zones, Madden. Let's fix zones. Every score is 70 to 70, and we're sitting here fixing, uh, fixing characters going through the wall. Fixed a variety of minor animation issues. Awesome. Decreased illegal man found field and RPOs, so we made RPOs better. Awesome. I can't wait. Fix an issue allowing halfbacks to be given backfield hot routes when aligned on the line of scrimmage. Okay, cool. I'm actually glad they did that. Fixed a rare issue causing the quarterback to become frozen when being tackled. I don't care. Fix issues causing defenders to go off sides from pre-snap movement, a variety of defensive formations. Okay. Uh, there's actually a glitch. I think Astro tweeted this out. You, this did not fix this. This did not fix this. Uh, fix an issue allowing defenders to sometimes slip through double teams without the appropriate animation. Uh, that, actually, that actually was an issue. I'm glad they made uh, defense harder. I was really hoping they would. Fix an issue allowing players to use this spin move when using... Okay, so literally the only thing they actually fixed in this patch is this right here. Fixed an issue allowing players to use the spin move when using the conservative ball carrier. So we will actually show that while we're here. If I go in my settings and I put conservative ball carrier on, and let's just come out in a stretch run, if I can have it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to run stretch. I'm going to try to spin, and you're going to see I can't. I'm hitting spin. It's not spinning. Okay? So conservative ball carrier, you now can't do any moves. Not that big of a deal, but it's kind of good. Now, let's get to this one. We have clearly heard players' desire for improvements to pass coverage. If you – oh, I'm sorry. I'm not even on the right screen. We clearly heard a player's desire for improvements to pass coverage. If you heard this, why is every change up here fixing defense? Ridiculous. The team is working on a significant set of improvements in a future title update. Just so that you're aware, my experience, I've been doing Madden content for like 12 years, maybe even longer than that. They normally drop a patch once a month. It is going to be a major patch, and more than likely, this patch is not going to come out until October. It is September 3rd. It is September 3rd. Look at what they're putting on. Look, look at this. This includes hard flats. You know why we need to fix hard flats? Because hard flats don't play anybody. I literally played somebody yesterday that ran tight in corner out of tight Y off every single play, and he threw a flat route literally every single play. I don't know how he was completing them. I was literally screaming at my TV. It was the worst gaming experience I've ever had playing a Madden game. I'm not even, I'm not even being like, I'm not even exaggerating. This Madden is absolutely terrible. You can't cover anything. You literally can't cover anything. Hard flats. Are you kidding me? One of the most basic freaking zones in the entire game, and we're going to fix hard flats? Are you, are you serious? You released a game where the hard flats don't play the hard flat? Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. 
We have clearly heard players desire for improvements to pass coverage, and literally everything up here is we fixed every blitz in the game and you didn't actually fix anything. I'm just so frustrated with this game. Look at this match coverage checks versus bunch sets. Guess what, EA? Everybody, won everybody runs bunch strong because you can't match bunch strong. The most popular coverage in the real NFL and in college football you cannot use because you put into the game that you're not allowed to match four strong. Are you serious? How about we put match coverage checks versus bunch strong sets? <sighs> Press animations. I'm, I'm hoping we fix that. Let me show you something here, guys. Fired up this morning. Had my coffee. I'm feeling good. Okay, look at this. When they say fix press animations, let me just go, you can do it out of any play. I did not find this, so don't fry me on Twitter. I think Ant Camp's the one that first posted it. But let's talk. So I'm in cover one, Robert, I'm pressing. I'm going to put Rice on a curl. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to stem him all the way up. And what you're going to see is if I motion him out, you don't have to motion him out, but it just helps. Um, you're going to see that Sauce Gardner, one of the best corners in the game, he'll run right by him. This is the game we're playing, guys. This is the game we're playing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did you see what I just did? Oh, by the way, everyone said they fixed stem glitching. Here you go. All you're going to do is you're going to put this guy on the outside on whatever route you want to stem glitch. You're going to hit L1, and then you're going to hit R1, and look what happens. Or I'm sorry, I need to stem him up. You're going to stem him up, and then you're going to hit R1, and look what happens. Maybe I can't do it when I flip. Let's flip back. Sorry, failing. Stem down, R1. There you go. Look at that. We fixed stem glitching. We fixed stem glitching. You didn't fix jack crap. The game has been out for literally like almost three weeks now, guys. Pass velocity ability tuning. Such a joke of a statement. Press animations. Zone drops. You know why we have to fix zone drops? Let's go back to gameplay. Remember how they said they were going to fix hard flats? Well, check this out. 35. I'm going to come out. Okay, Tampa 2. We've literally been running this coverage forever in Madden. Since zone drops got put into the game, we've been running this coverage because we want to stop the street corner flat combo, which is the most popular freaking combo in the game. And guess what? My cloud flat and my curl flat will not cover a soul on this play. I can throw the flat and I can throw the corner. Everything's open. Now, a little, 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 little help to you guys on defense. Seam flat, hard flat. I can't wait for them to fix hard flats because hard flats are the only thing that can cover a corner route right now. As you see. It's just ridiculous that they, I just, I just don't understand why. How does this get past like development testing? We have clearly heard players desire for improvements to pass coverage. Then freaking improve it. It says basically, guys, that they're probably going to improve it. I would, I would probably say that they're going to improve it in the October patch. So we have 30 more days. Um, my suggestion, go play college football for 30 days and see how you like that game because that game is not much better than this game right now. In addition to pass coverage, we have imp improvements on the way for kickoff exploits, blitzes, and AI play calling. I'm, I've been really struggling against the computer. I was hoping they would improve the AI play calling in this game. <sighs> what in the world? Then we have season two. Um, you need to get Paul Krause on your team. He's the only hope of getting a stop. They also didn't say anything about seam streaks. Check this out. So here I am. I'm in my – let me actually get into cover four. I'm in a cover four. Remember how they said they tuned set feet lead and pass lead elite? We're going to streak more, and I'm going to pass lead inside, and I'm going to click it on because I have set, fleet, set feet lead. You can't guard it. How about they fix that in the zone coverage tuning? It's probably the worst patch in Madden history. I'm going to leave it at that, boys. That's all I got. See you in October.